Hey everybody, it's Dr. Moody Charter back again for another hoot. I first and foremost want to apologize. I promised myself that I'm going to upload a video once a week, uh, basically outlining what we saw in this past week. But unfortunately, due to the ongoing war with Iran, uh, I was not able to upload it today. So this is going to come out on Sunday and not Saturday. So I know you're probably sitting at home and saying, oh, you know, missile and drones attack from Iran, that's an excuse. But uh, trust me, if I could have, I would have. So I, again, I apologize. Um, this week has been kind of a crazy week. Uh, we had some action in uh, uh, Barnau Ramon Israel cam with our lone nestling. We had a little action um, last night and you'll get to see that an intruder came, but luckily the nestling is okay. Uh, we got to unfortunately see birds listening to sirens of missile attacks and drones attacks. So you get to see a little bit. I uh, wish we didn't have to see that. I uh, wish it was peace and love in the world, but uh, maybe in the future we're not there yet. Uh, and we, we have some other stuff going on, so uh, let's get into it. Sad reality, a war that us humans also suffer, but unfortunately also the animals too. You can see the barn owls from Israel, barn owl, Ramon, and Kim, hearing the silence, they're very strong. The incoming missile and, and drone attacks, unfortunately very common. Same thing we can hear with the poor vulture nestling and the parents, they get stressed out from this, but what can we do? This is a reality, hopefully it'll be better soon. So in inner Israel, Barno, Ramon, Kim, the nestling 55 days old is doing great. He was by himself and all of a sudden the mother comes back very excited. And unfortunately there was an intruder and the mother immediately, luckily she was there. She goes on the attack, attacking this intruder. You know, she would kill this intruder. On Oops, well, then she mistakes the nestling actually for the intruder. After a while she realized that's her nestling got a little overly excited but these intruders obviously can kill nestlings like we had in Israel barn owl cam number two luckily the females here even if the female was here the nestlings large enough maybe hopefully would have been able to defend himself but he could have been injured so this is a case of uh, these intruders uh, barn owl intruders are hungry looking for food and unfortunately also kill other nestlings this time it was better the next day the mother actually stayed in the box during the daytime to protect the nestling she was uh you know obviously very nervous uh, but typically the, the nestling was alone by himself here it's guller fluttering which is panting owls don't have sweat glands so to keep cool they pant almost like uh, uh dogs and the evaporation helps them to keep cool this is a very common thing it looks bad but it's 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 very very common and uh and the parents are doing a great job feeding this lone nestling he's obviously very excited when he gets prey here a um, common vole which is a little bit bigger it gets mainly voles and mice for the most part so extremely happy uh, with that super cute this guy's developing very very well even within a, a week or so he can probably fly and fledge hopefully he'll stay along um, for a longer time than that the guy is just growing super super cute uh, what a what a cute nestling uh, and the parents, you know, even though we had initially the problem with the female, remember stealing food and we had nestlings that died, but they, they reach a point where they're able to feed themselves and also the nestling. And he's playing, he's doing a lot of uh, playing, jumping around uh, with the food after he's not hungry, but he's obviously swallowing the prey whole. Uh, but this is a period of time now that he, he has to build up his, um, his wing mes uh, muscles and and, 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 and play and, and build up his uh, pouncing and practicing. Here he's playing with a feather. Uh, these guys always, always surprise me. And, and the fact he's eating very well, the parents are doing a great job. Uh, he's able to swallow these mice in voles with no problem at all. Sometimes they have problem with the larger prey, the jerds or rats or even mole rats, but we don't, in this box really, it's been mainly mice and, um, and voles. And he's very entertaining to watch during the daytime. Uh, uh, just very curious all around. Doing a lot of the pouncing, the jumping, the things that we expect at his age before he'll fledge. 
here's the wing exercising, building up those muscles. He'll be able to fly within a week. Um, whether or not he'll fly or not, sometimes they take a little bit more time. Uh, maybe because he has less competition, he doesn't have siblings to compete with, so we'll see. Maybe he'll stay longer, but it is hot, so he'll probably want to find a roost that's not in the uh, sun time, in the sun time, in the sun. Uh, uh, typically, that's what they do. Um, but they look at him, he's just going all at it, gobbling down these mice and these uh, voles without any problem. And he's reached the entrance, so uh, keep an eye out for this guy, you know. Once they reach the entrance, it's just a matter of time before they fledge. We're in Israel, Barnau Cam, Florida Cam number one. We still have uh, an owl coming and visiting, of owls. Uh, and also in Barnau, Florida Cam number two, we have a pair. They're even sometimes courting, but this is mainly keeping the pair bond up. So hopefully these guys will be coming around in the summertime, but will uh, lay in the fall time. So keep an eye out for them. We had uh, unexpected guests, multiple guests. We had male lesser kestrels coming to the lesser Castro cam. Uh, they didn't lay this year, but hopefully these guys will return. Uh, they're gonna migrate, but hopefully they will return next year and lay, because these are very entertaining. Little falcons, beautiful falcons, look at that. A uh, little bit difficult commenting, entering in the box. So keep an eye out this lesser Castro cam. They may be around for a little bit more until they migrate to Africa. And then ha hopefully next winter, uh, they'll come back here, even two males even competing for the nest. We got our griffin vulture nestling. This guy is such a cutie, doing really well, growing up. Uh, these, these handicapped parents are just the best, really are. Look at, we even have a, 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 a hooded crow comes by to visit. Watch this guy, he's a lot of fun, very entertaining. In Israel Barnall Cam number four, there's two squabs. They're doing well. The parents are doing a great job feeding them. Uh, this is a box with a lot of pigeon drama. There's at least another two pairs that want to breed also. Uh, so hopefully they'll be able to raise these two squabs without intruders coming and attacking the squabs. We also have Israel um, Kestrel Cam that we have pigeons that unfortunately we remember that were predated, killed by minor. Uh, so they hopefully uh, hatch soon. Lastly, we're in Israel Barn Owl Cam number one. There's a pigeon pier that are courting in the side of the box. We'll see the Barn Owls left. So you never know. Maybe we'll have another pigeon pier breeding in another Barn Owl box soon. So I, I hope you like this video. Uh, I, I want to thank everybody first and foremost for watching. I really appreciate all the people that uh, participate in the chats and you write timestamps. These are crucial during these times when I, I have less time. Uh, and when you write when things happen, then the moderators which do amazing time collect it and that's, that's how we can, we're able to make clips. So really appreciate your participation. It helps out a lot. So thank you very, 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 very much. If you like this content, and I'm not talking about the missile attacks and the sirens, that is a different type of content that we do not want in this channel. Um, and want to help, uh, I put a link in the description for donations. It really greatly helps us. And again, thank you so much for the people that watch, the moderators. Appreciate it so much. If you like this content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Keep on watching. Hoot you later.